Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a sprite-based health bar. Uh, what are the advantages to this over a draw health bar function in GameMaker? Well, we're not going to be able to merge between the colors quite as easy, but uh, we can transition from one color to the other. Uh, and you can see that happening here. Um, it's going to be able to have textures on it. So you can see that line on the top is a lighter color. And then I did a bad job blocking it out on the bottom in this video, but um, the dark color on the bottom as well as part of that texture. Uh, so that is something you can do with a sprite based texture and we'll add on a quick little sprite overlay as well just to make that look nice. So if you're just now coming to this video uh, and you didn't want to watch the one before it because we were just doing some really basic draw health bar function and you want to see the sprite based method, uh, then what you need is in your create event, let's create our max HP, our HP equals max HP, our display HP equals HP. This is for our lerping that's happening, which is our easing. Um, in the step function, I have display HP equals lerp, display HP comma HP comma 0.1. Uh, and you can modify this to make it either go down slower or faster, depending on how you want to do it. Uh, and then just for my own uh, ease of explaining, I've got something that restarts the room, something that lowers the HP uh, in both my left down and right pressed. Uh, just so you know where I'm coming from here. Okay, so let's get started with our sprite-based health bar. Uh, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is draw a sprite that we're going to use for the health bar. Um, I've already done one, so let me just show you guys what that looks like, and uh, you guys can make your own. So the first thing I have in frame zero is I've got the background. Uh, and what's unique about this is I have an alpha in the back. Uh, that's gonna make it so it doesn't just transition into nothing. Um, it doesn't show the background exactly how it is, but it is a uh, slight, let's see if I remove this here, you'll see this is a transparent value. And then if I wanted to add in like a dark alpha um, transparent background, I would do something like this. I'd make my black a lot lighter uh, with transparency. And then I would just fill that. Oops, I have the wrong thing there. There we go. So I fill that. And that's how I make the background. So zero is gonna be our background. And then we're gonna go through all the different colors we want to transition into. I'm gonna have four colors here. So when it's full, I think I have it at purple and then it goes down to green, then to blue, then to red. You can make that go down or change however you would like. Uh, and then we go to our uh, front. This is what's gonna be showing over the, the top of everything. And for this one, you do want a completely transparent background. Otherwise it's gonna be covering up our HP bar. Um, and I have this set as 225 for the width and height. Uh, you can do this however you would like, um, but that's how I've set mine up. And it's gonna cover up a lot of the edges anyway, so you don't really need to worry about it being too precise because with a sprite-based system, it'll basically just draw it however we want it to. It doesn't matter what the size is as long as they're all the same size. That's all that really matters. Okay, so I'm back in my O health. This is the object that I'm using to put all of my health in here. And then that's also in my room right here. Um, so let's take a look at how we would do this. Uh, so the first thing we wanna do, let's just draw that sprite, get it on the screen and we can start working with it uh, through that. You're gonna wanna use the extended function. I think that's what that stands for, extended. Um, and okay, what does it take? It needs a sprite, sub image, X, Y, X scale, Y scale, rotation, uh, color, and alpha. The reason we're using extended as opposed to the normal one is this X scale and Y scale function. That's gonna be how we make the health bar go up and down. Uh, so our sprite, let's do S. I've got mine named as S Sprite Health Bar. You can put yours as whatever you would like. Um, you're gonna start off with the zero because what we wanna do first is draw the background, right? Um, and then we're doing the X. Where do we want this? Uh, I'm gonna put it just below my other health bar that I've got. Um, so that was at 100, 100. So I'm gonna put this at, uh, and ended at 200. So I'm gonna put this at, let's just say 225. And then for the Y, oh sorry, let's do 100 and then 225. And then for our X scale, um, because this is the background, we're just gonna keep these at one and one. 
Rotation is image angle. We're not changing the rotation at all. Same with the color, it stays C white. And then for the alpha, let's just keep it at image alpha. You could just put a one for that. Um, I don't think we're gonna be changing alpha at all on this, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, so that's just gonna draw our background. Let's just make sure it's in the right spot. Perfect, this is our sprite right here. It's in the right spot. Uh, I made mine a little bit small. We can actually adjust this if we want to uh, down the road and I'll show you how, uh, but uh, that's what we've got right now. If you're doing a full game and you really want to make it perfect, uh, you want to adjust it in the actual sprite, but we're just gonna be adjusting it with the X scale and the Y scale because even though it stretches some of the pixels out, uh, it's a lot faster. We might wanna make a lot of adjustments. So that's what we're doing. So why don't we just say two and two. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that'll make pretty much a full health bar for us. Uh, it's just doubling the size of everything. And that's our background. Um, if you press Control D when you're just lined up on a line, it will duplicate it exactly, um, which is exactly what we want. So let's draw now, let's just say image one, which I think if we look at our sprite, let me get rid of some of this stuff. If we look at our sprite, image one is our fuchsia color. So why don't we just do green for right now? That's gonna be two. And this will all make sense later. Um, why we did it that way, because we're gonna be changing colors of the different sprites partway through, like when they lose a certain amount of health. If they're at 50%, it's gonna change now to blue. And if it's at 25, it's gonna to change to red. Um, so that's how we're gonna do that. Uh, we're drawing this in the correct spot. Yes, uh, same size. Yes, image angle, everything's correct. And then we want to draw our foreground, which is gonna be actually a lot more closely related to this one. So we're gonna copy this and put it down here, except this is going to be frame. You can see in GameMaker 2.3, they actually write F5F, that's your fifth frame. Uh, so that's the one we want on top of everything else, which doesn't look like anything there, but it's actually just our overlay. So I'm gonna back that out a little bit. That's pretty big. Um, so we want this to be five. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, we've got a health bar there. It looks good. It doesn't actually do anything yet. Um, and you might be asking, why do we put that background there if we're just gonna cover up the whole thing? It's because as this goes down, there's gonna be that alpha in the back. Uh, so let's add some functionality to this. How are we gonna make that health bar go down? Uh, the one we're changing is this one, right? This is going to be our, let me just label all these real quick. Okay, now I've got these labeled so that we can look at them. Um, how we're gonna make this go down is we're going to make it, basically instead of our image X scale, we're going to make it our uh, same thing we did up here with our PC. Remember how we did this? Now we've actually already created this PC variable, so let's just take this. And we, remember we had to multiply this by 100 for the last one. Uh, we actually don't want that, which is why we're going to update it here. PC, except I'm gonna make this um, a new variable for, I'm just gonna call this uh, sprite PC equals that right there. And we don't need this anymore. Uh, because on this one, we don't wanna multiply it by 100 because one is actually our full 100% instead of 100, which is I think, or 1000, which is what they do up there. Um, but we want to have our display HP over our max HP. And when we modify this, oh, and by the way, we doubled this. So let's just make something real quick. Let's call this var scale equals two. This will... So the reason we made uh, the scale variable instead of just putting two is it will make it so that uh, down the road, down the road, we won't have to update this if we wanted to change the scale again for whatever reason. Um, so we got the scale there. And then this is our current HP. Uh, we, this is the one we want to change. So let's call this SPC. 
and we'll see if that works. All right, everything's up and we are running, perfect. So this is working exactly the way we want it to. It's just a normal health bar and it goes down great. Uh, the color is staying green the whole time, which if you want that, you're done. Uh, however, we want to change colors partway through. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Uh, what we wanna do is create our color variable. So first let's do var, uh, I'm gonna call it SPR color equals, first I'm just gonna say C white. Um, oh no, you know what? It's gonna be Sprite index because now I think about it, we're not doing colors like this. We're actually changing the frame of every single one. So let's say if it's 75% or higher, we're gonna do purple. If it's 50% or higher, green, 25% or higher, blue, and then lower than 25%, we're doing red. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four. So let's do that. We're gonna start off with um, the very first one because when it flashes, I don't know if it's gonna show the wrong one. So the green is two. All right, let's just do one. So this is gonna be a fuchsia bar now, just to show you. So we know, have a point of reference. Uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So now we have a fuchsia bar. And I'm actually gonna change this to our index. So just to show you, there's no funny business that is now working exactly what we want it to. Yep, it's the same exact thing, okay. So we want to change the sprite index so that as the health changes, as our display HP changes, or as our normal HP changes, uh, the sprite index will change too. So how do we do that? Let's create a if else statement. Um, the reason we're doing if else instead of like a switch statement is because uh, we're gonna be doing calculations and I don't know if switch statements are able to handle that very well. Um, I originally wanna do a switch statement here, but uh, I think we're doing if and else because we have to check multiple calculations uh, to see which one we wanna do. So if our, we're gonna use HP here because as it's going down, we don't want it to actually go change color when it goes there on the display HP, even if it's a full bar, if something wipes us out, we want to immediately know that we're now in the red. Um, so we don't want it to wait to catch up. Uh, so that's why I'm using HP here instead of display HP. Um, I can show you the difference in a little bit, but uh, let's start with this for right now. So HP is greater than max HP times 0.75. Right, index equals one. That's gonna be our fuchsia. Okay, now we're gonna add else if, and another else if, and then one more else if. That'll cover our four colors. Um, so else if HP is less than or equal to max HP times 0.75 and HP is greater than max HP times 0.5. Then we're gonna change this to equals two. Okay, and I'm gonna do these, this same, pretty much this exact same thing for the next few ones. I'm changing this to just a less than because we don't actually have to check if it's bigger than zero because it's never gonna be, uh, there's nothing if it's bigger than zero, it's, it's empty. So um, this is what we're doing, add these in here. Okay, so now we've got it so that um, as our HP goes down, these colors are gonna change and I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. Okay, that's working exactly the way that we want it to. And there's gonna be another, let's see, there's gonna be a change at 40, right? So let's see what that looks like with one click. Yep. Um, okay, so here's the reason I used display PC instead of just normal H or display HP instead of normal HP. I'm gonna change this so that it's gonna be HP minus equals 
70. So we have 80 health. This is gonna wipe out most of our health in one click. Uh, and I'll show you why we used HP instead of display HP. Uh, if I were to do display HP, when I go down like this, it'll gradually morph through all the colors like this. What if I take a huge hit like this? It takes a while to catch up. Um, so if I use normal HP, it's going to change the color when the HP gets to that number, not when the display HP gets there. So uh, it's gonna change red immediately. So you immediately know that that's what's going on. Uh, and the other thing I'm gonna do is change this to points, let's just say 05. That way you can see that slow change if you wanted to add like a really slow change there. Yeah, so you know you took a lot of damage really quick. So that's why I did HP instead of display HP. Which I actually kind of like that slower HP look. It works really well with the big damage. Not so much with the little damage. All right, so that's about it for our sprite-based health bar. Uh, you can change, like I said, you can change the sprite around as much as you want. Um, it will morph through all these colors. If you take a big hit, it will immediately transform to the uh, red color, so you know you're down in the bad area. Um, it will change scale depending on what you want to do. So let's say we want to do three instead of two. That still works even if it's going off of our screen. So I'm going to bring it back to two. And then also, if I did, uh, for example, if I wanted to have like 120 HP, it would work with all of that as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you uh, have any questions, leave it in the comments. Otherwise, we're coming back the next video with our heart system. Uh, the heart system is gonna be fairly complicated. Uh, we're gonna start off easy and just do the really easy drawing a health heart. Um, but it's going to gradually get harder and harder as we add in, uh, you know, dividing all the hearts into four pieces. Uh, we're going to add in uh, a second row of hearts. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do all of that. Feel free to watch that one as well if that's the system you want to use. And uh, I hope these are helpful. Uh, good luck with all of your projects.